ba 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 This is a different all-you-can-eat video. This is at the Philadelphia Phillies game in a luxury suite. I got invited to one of these expensive suites. These things start at $6,400 for 40 people. That's $160 a piece. So I was very honored to be invited in. And it is crazy here. It's totally different ballpark experience. I'm sitting on the third baseline. So I entered through this entrance and you can take an elevator upstairs and then you can see the luxury suite itself. There's three different big party luxury suites at the Phillies games. I'm in the largest one, suite 80. You can see it right here. They had lots to offer in the suite. They had popcorn, uh, specialty potato chips, soft pretzels, Caesar salad, hoagies from 9th Street, uh, Hatfield hot dogs. They had Philadelphia cheesesteaks, cookies, ice cream, and then drinks. This is the view outside of our suite. We had all the indoor seating as well as two long rows of outdoor seating so you could enjoy the game either place. I will have to admit it was very, very tempting to try to down a lot of food here because uh, some of the food was really good. I'm going to review each of the ones they had. But since I was a guest, I didn't feel it was appropriate to down uh, 20 hoagie sandwiches. Um, and I just kind of took it easy. But here's a quick review of all the food, which ones I like best. So if you ever get into a party suite, you know where to start at. Hot dogs at the ballpark always taste better, and this Hatfield hot dog is no different. I'm going to score this a 9.5 out of a possible 10. It has great taste and flavor, and also it's one of those items that can sit on a buffet and still taste great. Next up were these potato chips, which I am a huge fan of, so I enjoyed these. I knew I would. I'll give them an 8 out of 10. I prefer they be a little bit saltier, but I do like that they are nice and thick. Next is a 9th Street Italian Hoagie, and this thing was a winner. 10 out of 10. Not going to lie, I had second, thirds, fourths, and probably even more. It was that good. Do not miss this Hoagie if you're in a party suite. Of course, you're going to have a cheesesteak in Philly. I was a little concerned about this one because typically when I eat a cheesesteak, I like it hot and fresh and I like to eat it immediately in the restaurant. I would never get one takeout to go home. It just doesn't taste the same. But this overcame that, even though it was sitting on the buffet, it still tasted decent. Now, it's not something you want to write home about and say, hey, I had a Philly cheesesteak, but it was definitely a decent cheesesteak. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. They don't have a lot of vegetarian options, but here they are. This Caesar salad, which I'll give a 7 out of 10. The croutons were the best part of it and a soft pretzel, which is just a six out of 10. That was a little bit disappointing. The popcorn was my least favorite. I'll go four out of 10. The cookies were good, seven out of 10. And this ice cream, which I managed to smush when I wasn't paying attention, I'll give this a seven out of 10. I really enjoyed this suite. If you ever get an opportunity to take advantage of it, please do. It is a different experience. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And I was glad I was able to take my wife to the game. We had a great time together. We're big Phillies fans. I want to thank Vernon Bitzer Associates. They do heating, air conditioning, and plumbing. If you ever need them, check them out. They're out of Warminster, PA. Thanks again, Vernon Bitzer. And I'll see you guys again soon.